Hello everyone. Uh, sorry if I'm a little hoarse in this video. I've got the remnants of a flu, but I've had a few questions about the kind of stuff that I've got available for the Bradley coming up. Um, just to refresh, we've already gone over the suspension and the track and these lower hull parts here and here and all that but oh sorry there we go here and here but uh wanted to go over the um, parts that i'm going to include in the upper hull update and add a few things just so you're aware um so starting off the first thing is this um m2a2 ods rep the way that tamia made this from their older molds this is going to represent an m2a2 that used to have the flotation gear having been removed and that's where these three um little pieces come in i'm not exactly sure what they are but they are literally just kind of blocks with grooves in them and maybe somebody who's been on bradley's or was on the the design team or a trainer could explain that I don't have an explanation right off the top of my head. And I forgot to put the next part on. So give me a moment, but um, it's the it's the headlight clusters is what I'm talking about here. And the biggest problem with them, at least in the past, the way that Tamiya gives them, they are the wrong shape and the wrong size and nobody likes them but they're hard what you want is hard to scratch build so i <coughs> went in and built them from the ground up as part of my training process for this uh particular uh renovation or whatever you want to call it so i guess i can just show this right here so here is one of the pieces here are those three blocks that are going to be going in the front here the next are some O-rings. I'm assuming they're lift rings, and they're not on the Tamiya kit. So there's one right down here next to this angled uh, armor piece. There's one right here next to the engine exhaust, and, and this one really kind of sticks out. And then also this one right here, right in front of the driver's uh, seat. And their driver's hatch and that, that they really stuck out and i was like oh nobody's got them on their kits so i'm actually going to include four of them and then there is also a much more scale and accurate fire extinguisher uh handle and setup right here way better than anything i've seen in any of the kits i haven't seen every kit out there but that's that's uh what I was aiming for. So I got those taken care of. Um, as I just pointed out, underneath the track, there are these two, I'm assuming they are pull uh, plates, something that you can attach uh, something to, to like a chain or whatever, to yank the, the Bradley out. They're right here. They were missed on this kit. Some of the kits have them out there. I haven't detailed all that yet. I believe the main kit does have them. Next is this this piece right here. Um, Tommy gives you a part that goes and kind of sticks right up in there, and it doesn't look anything like it. This is what I made to, sorry, right there. This is what I made. This isn't 100% correct, but this matches up a lot better with what's what the real vehicle looks like rather than um, just kind of, making a guess at it from Tamiya or whatever reason they did that. Um, somebody just asked about the driver's thermal viewer. So I have indeed made the driver's thermal viewer. And unlike everyone that I've seen so far, I did put the sight in inside of there. It's, it's hanging down. So you can have that. This flap can be closed, but 99% of the time I see it open. So I have it uh, printed as open. And these two on the, each side are supposed to represent um, Velcro strips so that you can put a screen across the front of it. But honestly, aside from like 
a training vehicle or garrison type stuff in the U.S. I have not seen um, that screen across there. And I know some kits have given you that. It's got the, the bolts on it and all that. And it's angled so that you can put it on here. It's a weird thing it doesn't at least according to all the photos that i've seen it doesn't quite sit square in any direction so this is my best attempt at it i'm happy with it it does its job so this is what you get i've got you sometimes uh i guess in this one i hadn't cleaned them off yet but a uh, little have to clean off a little bit of the uh, support parts in there so that but anyways there it is Okay, the Tamiya kit, the driver's hinge, totally wrong for an M2A2 ODS with the support bar on the side. So I went through and made a completely new setup right here. It means you have to trim the hinge material off on the uh, driver's hatch, and all this gets replaced. I also included on the side of the vent all the the vent material so it looks like it's venting now there are two designs and i haven't been able to find out which one is um production there's one that has them straight up and down the same way that i've done it here and one that has this hole is one big piece and it's kind of cross hatched <clears throat> you're not really going to see it but i did it now this has all the parts that i could discern on the real thing bolts and everything so I'm again I'm very pleased with it and next I'll just show these off real quick now I already went through and put all the little tie downs and that that I had seen on the reference vehicle that I've been crawling around on and some other vehicles so they're kind of dotted all around the vehicle while in the process of manhandling this around for doing some of the updates I have broken some off so there were a few over here and they're longer and shorter so i've got both uh, basically a three centimeter or three millimeter long long one and then my modern uh, tie downs for the upper hull this is what's included so that you can put all the tie downs and then you know if you the vehicle you have a reference for has them in a different spot for some reason then you've got them available to put them where you want to put them um, there's the exhaust. Tommy did an okay job with the uh, revamp of the exhaust, but what I didn't like was <clears throat> the exhaust itself wasn't really there, and it's pretty prominent. It's just this big, like, sheet metal exhaust, stainless steel, whatever, block in there. So I went and rebuilt this. I tried adding some of the, the weld lines that were pretty prevalent. It'll take a little bit of work to clean up because there, I have to put supports inside. You can see the supports way back there. Go in, knock those out, clean it all up. But, you know, I'm, again, I'm happy with it. It just plops right down and away it goes. And finally, what I was, oh, I'm sorry. We'll go with the rear lights first. So, uh, yeah, I'm not happy with how the rear lights were set up. So I designed these with what I like to think of as much more accurate rear lights. Now, there is a compromise in here because... It's really, really hard to 3D print these and not have this connected. They come out deformed and screwed up. It's it's just a limitation. But I, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, it looks just like what you'd see in the box coming from the, the front. And the lenses are already on it. And they just are, again, just... Sorry, just put them right on the... Right on the back. Where they go, no problem. And they've got the, the slit in the back and just the plate back here. So I'm happy with these. And I also have made, but I'm not sending them in this right now, I've made the extended versions to where they're taller so you can put a radio uh, antenna above these. Some of the Bradleys now have them. And finally, I <clears throat> redid the headlights on both the left and right. So they now have all the correct lenses and parts inside, all the framing, the holes where they belong, the bolts, and all the shape. This took quite a bit of work. 
They have the, the proper parts pushing out in the back, the electrical connections, and the, I can't remember what that is for, if that's a shroud or, but anyways, it's all there, it's all accurate, and they just go right on, boom. Now they don't fit right there. I, they're sliding down because of this, but you just glue them on, and I like them. I've included, in this case, the lenses as well, 3D printed, so you can paint them up separate and plop them in. Um, time will tell if I keep them that way or if I just start printing them on the, the part. So there you have it. That's uh, the upper hull detail set that I'm going to be releasing. Um, I don't want to go too much more, do more details, because the more you tear into it, the more there is to do. But I'll also be uh, working on adapting these sets to uh, the Meng kit and the Orochimaru kit, um, which got turned into the... Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Which got turned into the kinetic kit. Um, but, you know, one step at a time. Have a good day.